Hello and welcome to step number eight in the cheat engine tutorial. This is the part that where the most people have trouble with multi-level pointers. It's not extremely well explained in here. Most people just watch a ton of videos until they kind of barely figure something out. So I'm hoping to give a much better explanation than last time and yeah, help everyone figure it out. First thing we gotta do, like always, is find our value. Was that 2595? Five, First scan, four bytes. Yep, 2178. Perfect. So we know this is it. Like last time, we can change the value as much and it'll update. If you hit change pointer though, and start changing the value again, this is invalid now. It doesn't do anything. So let's find our new value which is one, two, four, three. That's it right there. And for this, just like last time, we're gonna find out what writes to this address because it is the, this is the actual address of our health. So we know something's writing to this one. We can change the value a couple times and we know we're moving EAX, which is a random value into ESI, which would be like a player base in a normal game plus 18, hex 18, which would be just an offset to where our health is stored. You can show more information and it'll tell you, uh, you can see ESI is 2890108. And that's what it's telling us we want here. We're ignoring that 18 for now, but we need to remember the number. You can write it down in notepad if it helps you. So ESI we wanna grab, we'll just copy it right from here. You can even keep this open just so you can't forget it's 18 and we're going to search for a hex value something that points to this address you can see there's three let's start with the top one because why not it's got to be one of the three and we want to copy this address here Control c and then we want to actually we can just hit pointer there Paste that there, and this is where we want that offset, which as we remember, or we can still see here is 18. 18, and now you can see right up here, it's showing what the address we're getting in the end is, which is that address with a value of 860, which is 860. Hit okay. And now every time you change the value, it still changes in there. Now we can close that, we shouldn't need that right now. And now, you can call that health. This will be pointer level one. And now what we want to do, because this address isn't green, none of these are, we know that if we change our pointer or restart our game or load a new zone, we'll lose all our progress. We won't have our health anymore, even though we have a single pointer here. So what we want to do is right click on it, find out what access is this address. And then you want to find out what access is this pointer. If you were to click on the address pointed at by this pointer, we would just go back to accessing this address directly. So we want to figure out what access is this pointer. And then like before, we'll change our value a couple times. Nothing happens, so we know that's not the right address. So we can delete that. Let's go with this one because it's not extremely early in memory. Double click it, we'll copy that, and go to pointer paste it at our offset of 18 and you can see it's the right one again so we'll call that pointer level one and again we will find out what access accesses this address accesses this pointer change the value there we go now we're getting some progress Let's see it works uh, this one here compares it this one's a move uh, it shouldn't matter which one you go with I usually try and go with moves and not just comparisons it seems to work fine for me so this one here we have ESI and we have no offsets for it let's grab our ESI copy that keep that there even though we know it's a zero and then we want to start a new scan, make sure we're still searching for hex. 
paste that address in, which was the same address that we were searching for before. So let's No, it wasn't. Okay, so first scan. Looks like it was. So we know it's probably not this instruction. Let's go up to our compare. Let's grab ESI again. There you go. We can see this one here is quite a bit different than that one. So we'll paste that in. New scan. First scan again. Now we have a different set of results. We know our offset zero, and these are again extremely early in memory. This one's kind of later, closer to what we found with this. So we'll double click that. Double click the address. We want to copy that address again, change it to a pointer, paste that address back in, and then we add an offset. And we know this one here had an offset of zero, so we won't touch that one. And our original offset, we need to keep track of. That's why I left pointer level one here, was 18. So now if you click on this, we have one address, pointer offset of 18. We have here, one address, an offset of zero, and then an offset of what that offset was, which is 18. We can call that pointer level two. Close that window. And then again, we will right click, find out what access is this pointer. Change our value again. Looks like it's working. And now we have ESI plus 14. Let's go with the compare again because that's what worked last time. Let's go down here, ESI, copy ESI here. And we can see it's not the same as that value. Close, but not the same. So paste it in, hit our first scan. We have an offset of 14. So with these, again, I'll just grab something that was close. Try with this one first. We can copy that value. Now change it to a pointer, or that's our address. I want to add two offsets. This one here was 14, and then we had a zero, and then we had 18. So with each of these, we're just we're taking our previous two and we're adding one right below it with our new address. So looks like it points to 2098, 2098 looks good. So you can hit okay. Try and call that PL3. Stop that. And just repeat that process over and over. So that one didn't seem to work. We'll delete point to level three. Try that one. Copy, click, paste. At our two, we had 14, 0, and 18. Right click, find out what accesses it. There you go. So you can see that one works. So now we're getting ESI 0C, ESI 0C. So again, we will copy our ESI, start a new scan for that address, first scan. And now we have a green one, so that one's static. It'll always be the same every time you start up this version of the tutorial. So we can double click that. Oops, can't forget to rename that, pointer level three. And we'll copy that. Make sure you copy the, so this is the module. So Cheat Engine will grab the base address of this module and then it'll add that offset to it. So. Now you can add your four. I want to paste that whole thing into here. We have our first offset is zero C, as we can see right there, zero C. And then I believe it was 14, zero, 18. And that value is the same as that. So I know I remembered those correctly. Pointer level four, and that should be the right one. This one will be static every time because we are using an address that is static originally, it's going to always take the base address of the module. In this case, it's the executable for the tutorial. We're just going to add hex 201660. And what this does here is it'll grab the value that's stored in this address, which is that, and then it'll take that and it'll add 0c, which is hexadecimal. And it gets that. So we'll take that right there. We'll add 14 to it. Read that value. 
here's another address. So we'll go there, it'll add zero to it, because that was our offset there. And we'll read that, and we get another address. And we'll take that address, read it, plus 18, hex 18. And that gets us the final address to our value. So you can hit OK. And if we change it, it still changes point to level four. And you can verify your values like before. If you go four, seven, A, untick hex, and it's one, one, four, six, you can see these are all still pointing to the right value. The real test is hit change pointer. So all of these stopped working because they didn't have static addresses. They were just previous layers of the pointers so we could keep track of it. So now we can delete them all because these are garbage addresses. You can take D50, uh, you want to go hex, D50, and 3408, and that's 3408 there. So we know we have the right pointer. It's still pointing to the value after it changed. And in this challenge here, all we need to do is change it to 5,000 and freeze it. So let's go 5,000 hex 1388. 1388. Want to freeze the value there? You can hit space or tick the box. And you can see we can hit change however many times, but this will always change the value in memory to here back to 5,000, you can hit change pointer. You can see it, after that three seconds, all it does is read the, reads the address to see if it is 5,000. In this case it is because cheat engine's always changing it back. And that's it, that's it for multi-level pointers.